Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my videos and to subscribe. This Friday, a massive stony asteroid is going to make a close approach to Earth. Asteroid 7335, it used to be called 1989 JA, is about 1. miles across or 590 feet. If you hear noises in the background, my granddaughter, who's a little over one years old, is here staying with me today. It is an S-type asteroid, a stony asteroid, which normally comes by the Earth every two years and four months. It's an eccentric asteroid, meaning, yeah, it's got quite a wobble to it, and they really don't know what it's going to do. It came from the asteroid belt. Uh, that is an area of asteroids that circulate uh, between Jupiter and Mars. The asteroid belt contains a great many irregular shaped bodies. The gravitation of Jupiter often throws many of these asteroids in our direction. Asteroid 7335 was discovered in May of 1989 and is one of the 2,265 space rocks that NASA has labeled as a potentially hazardous asteroid. Now, supposedly Friday, it will come within 2.5 million miles of the Earth. But remember, this is an erratic asteroid. It's a stony asteroid. So supposedly it's going to be 10 times farther away from us than the moon. If it survives our flyby, it will come once again even closer in the year 2194. AccuWeather have a map of the southern sky where you can look and watch for this asteroid right there and we got different constellations that they drew out for us. Earth has been hit by large asteroids in the past but none as big as what this one is reportedly said to be. 1.1 miles across. And a example, Chelybin's meteor. Now that one exploded as it passed through our atmosphere with a force of 20 to 30 times greater than the Hiroshima atomic bomb. And it was only 65 feet across. This one that's flying by us on Friday is 460 feet across. The asteroid that exploded over Siberia in 1908 was estimated to be about 200 feet across. That one roughly flattened 1,300 square miles of forest in the remote areas of Russia, according to CBS News. The ramifications of a mile-wide asteroid hitting the planet would depend greatly on where exactly it entered the Earth's atmosphere. If it hit the ocean, it could create a huge tsunami. It could wipe out a city. But it wouldn't be an Ellie event. Uh, the one that wiped out the dinosaurs was estimated to be about six miles across. Now, according to scientists, if this asteroid were to hit one of our oceans, uh, it would cause the water to evaporate, leading to major changes, shifts in our weather. And they say if it was to explode over land, it would potentially cause global cal calamity with long-lasting impacts. The fallout would be compounded if the event happened near a densely populated area. Being so far from Earth, you won't be able to see it with the naked eye but you may be able to spot it with a powerful telescope at 1026 a.m. East Coast time. Or you can watch the asteroid pass by live on the Virtual Telescope Projects website. And I'll give you a link to that. They say the streaming will begin on Thursday, May 26 at 9 p.m. through Friday, uh, 1 a.m. Universal time. This erratic asteroid is supposed to miss us but it's definitely been an interesting year and then also i believe sunday is it um going to be a meteor shower the greatest meteor shower that's been seen in over 20 years 
because of a breakup of another asteroid. And I did a video about that. Yeah, uh, Jupiter is definitely uh, throwing us a lot of surprises in 2022 as if we don't have enough things happening here. Um, another thing I was thinking about, many of these asteroids that come by, they often have companions. And they haven't reported them, but more than likely they do. This one probably does too. So, what are your thoughts? Put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.